This is the first video for project two of my Android series and you can see that I've got the screen left open from the first project and I'm going to go ahead and just close out some of these windows that I'm working with. Eventually you may see something like this, the usage data upload it had nothing to do necessarily with what I'm doing at the moment but every once in a while you may, while you're working on your Eclipse, may see a window like this pop up and if you do see it pop up just go ahead and hit cancel for that one. I'm going to go ahead and continue closing some of the things that I was working on. Now I had to start off with I had a question already from project one somebody asked how to get back the package explorer after they closed it and I'm going to go ahead and close that now so you can see this if you do close something that you want back up down here at the bottom is kind of like a quick little launch area or they call it view as a fast view I'm going to go ahead and click on that and it's going to give me a list of a lot of the things that are common for us to work with for instance like the package explorer I'm going to go ahead and click on the package explorer there now I want to point out when I bring it back up like that you can see how it's laying over top of some of the other windows that I had before. I'm going to want to drag it. I'm going to find that empty spot like what I've got right here. and I can drag it around and I'm going to go ahead and drag it to the left hand side and you can see depending on where I drag it I want the one that fills the entire screen like that to the left and I'm going to go ahead and let go. And you can see that's going to put it back in that spot. It's going to kind of pin it back to that left hand area. So it's back to where it was before and kind of familiar with. If you don't like it like that, you could always minimize it or move it around different ways um, to give yourself a bigger screen to work with. So that's to start off here for project two. Now in this particular project that we're going to be using for project two, we're going to start off with creating a program called Tally. And what the purpose of this program is, is we're going to introduce some new things into our code. One of the things we're going to introduce is creating some of our own strings. And so we're going to be working with that. We're going to be still be working with a couple buttons. Um, we're going to be working with an edit text and as well as a text view within our XML side of things. And then on the Java side of things, we're going to actually start introducing some code like if statements, some conditional statements to work with. I've got a more streamlined way to do the on-click listener, and I think you're going to like that a lot better than what we did in the first project. And the reason why we're going to do this is because we're going to have more than one button to actually have to work with now and I'd rather have something that's nice and streamlined that works across the board with all of our objects. And so we're going to go ahead and do that one as well and then we're going to also talk about different ways of importing some of the needed packages and so forth that are part of our Android system without having to necessarily memorize them all in your head. So we're going to go ahead and get started in this particular video with just creating project 2. I'm going to run through that one now and let's go ahead and begin by choosing file, new, project, Android project, and we're going to go ahead and hit next. Now if you're familiar with project 1, then you probably know that I'm going to go ahead and name this one project 2. So we're going to go ahead and do that now, project 2. And I'm going to go ahead now and hit next. I'm still going to be working with the older Android uh, platform, so I'm going to go ahead and click on that one there. We're going to go ahead and hit next. And if you still remember from project 1, we're going to go ahead and do that now. The application name, I can name it whatever I want and that's what's going to show up on my Android device. And in, in this project we're going to actually show you the projects too when we have our Android virtual device running. So I'll show you that the names do show up for us. And I'm going to go ahead and call this one Tally. And then the package name I'm going to use the generic one like I did for the previous pro project. I'm going to call it local dot. I'm going to use my last name dot my first name dot and then the name of my application which is going to just be Tally. And then, um, and one thing about that is I'm going to keep it all lowercase like that. I would highly recommend doing all lowercase. And then we're going to go ahead and just hit finish on that one. And you can see that it has created project two now. And we are ready to get going here with the next video, which is going to be creating the graphical side of things.